everyone, and welcome to the Bulldog Show. I'm Darrell Allen, along with Thomasville High School head football coach Jonathan DeLay, and the Dawes coming off a 44 to nothing win over Chris County Cougars out of the stadium last Friday night, going 5 and 0 in the region, coach. And that's the big number to me, 5 and 0 in the region. We were already number one seed in the region, and essentially had the region championship because of tiebreakers, but we went ahead and took it the right way. Yeah, you know the kids really took advantage of the week and took advantage in the ball game. We, we said we were going to play this game like it was a playoff game because it was the one seed versus the four seed. And that's the way we went into it, and that's the way we went out and executed. 44 to nothing, Coach. First shutout since 2018. And I don't know the shutout. Shutout's always a goal, but it's nice when you play well enough to get one. Man, shutouts are, are something special. Um, you know, it means that, you know, you didn't let them in your end zone. You didn't let them have anything. No, no, you know, turnovers for touchdowns. Anything. And and the best thing about it was we subbed late in the game in the fourth quarter, really, and we still kept that shutout. So you know, it wasn't just all right. These are just our ones that caused the shutout. It was everybody. It was a whole group effort. All right, coach. Two hundred seventeen yards rushing, five touchdowns on the night. Jay Randall with ten rushes for eighty yards, two touchdowns. Also had a pick six. Levante Cole sixteen rushes for. 79 yards and two touchdowns. And, uh, and then Amp Anderson gets his first varsity touchdown Friday night. Big, big, big night for him. So we ran the ball as, as good as we have all year. Yeah, and that was the thing going in. We knew we needed to run the football. The other thing was to hit our shots downfield and then play great in special teams and on defense. But, uh, you know, we went in the game really with four backs, Jay Levante, uh, Leland, and Ant, and they ran the ball well. Uh, which is which is a shout out to our offensive line. I mean, we 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 were opening some big holes. Um, there there was more yards there that we looked at yesterday in film with the kids. Uh, we just we just missed a couple times, uh, but I was really pleased with the way that we ran the football. Uh, I love doing that. And when you can go into a game and you can make three, four, five, seven, ten, twenty yard runs, uh, you can stay ahead of the change and stay on schedule. Our coach Jay Nelson with six tackles, two for two for losses. Grimsley with eight tackles. Evan Wynn with five tackles. Jay Randall with, as we mentioned, with a pick six. Jay three interceptions in two ball games. That's pretty pretty sporty. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, that, that's that's pretty good for playing that position for two two games. Uh, but you, you just talk about you know you look at those stats on defense and no one guy really stands out to you. And here's why: because we're getting to the football like a pack of bulldogs, and that's the thing. You know, we're we're trying to play with that pack mentality on defense. Get a bunch of hats to the ball and good things will happen. All right, Andrew Bennett averaged 43 yards a kick the other night, along with 55 yards, two inside the 20. You know, that's that's a guy you wish you never had to use, but when you do use him, you want to do what Andrew's doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, Andrew did a great job, and we're, we're close to three inside the 20 if we get that last one down. But the one of those inside the 20 was inside the five, and it led to a safety. Mm -hmm. And so his, his performance led to points. And again, like I've said all year, he's a weapon. Uh, he can flip the field, change field position, which keeps the momentum on our side. And he did a great job the other night. Uh, Coach, senior night did a good job of honoring those seniors and, and, uh, and uh, good, good for them to walk out there with a win. Yeah, you know, anytime you can win on senior night, that's huge. But, and I've been here before, and we've been in this situation before where we had the Region 1 and we still had to play Game 10. Uh, and, and the kids, they just took it upon themselves all week to take the challenge. Hey, this is a playoff game, but we're going to go and play that way. And they did, and they honored the seniors. You know, they represented the T very well. And we're just, you know, blessed to go 5-0 and in the region. Now we're going into an open week where we can get healthy and get ready for a playoff run. All right, Coach, well, let's get into the hi highlights. Uh... Again, another great night weather-wise. <laughs> Again, you look back at the beginning of the year, you know, the weather, every, every game was like, okay, when's it going to rain? When's it going to thunder? When's something going to happen? But, yeah, great night, great crowd, uh, real exciting. You know, here's the first drive of the game right here. You get a couple runs, uh, first two plays, and we come out first third down of the game, and Cam hits Jay Randall right here. We get a first down. We're able to keep moving, keep the chains going. <clears throat> and, again, you know, we've got some – there's uh, Levante Cole. That's a great run right there to pull out of the first tackle. Get a throw right here to Logan Hackle. We get pretty good blocking out here on the perimeter. We just missed one guy inside. We don't get our head across, and he makes the play. Bennett, first punt. You know, he boots it down here. You got Messiah Wilson, DJ Thurman converging right there. And it's just a vice tackle. We work that every, every uh, Monday and Tuesday before practice. That's what we start with. And then defensively, I mean, you just got guys all over the place getting after it, trying to get hats to the ball. 
and trying to make them pay if they catch it or whoever's running it. First punt right here, Andrew Cannon gets clean. You know, I thought he was going to block it. We affect the kick a little bit, and, uh, you know, we're able to get pretty decent field position here on this drive. Cam throws a great ball right here to Cole Shaw. It's the only spot he could put it. DJ Thurman actually did a really good job of calling for the ball out there to draw the corner up. And then Levante, you know, he hits it right here off tackle. We do a great job up front right there, moving it, just creating the hole. Uh, and he's able to get us down inside the five. And then, you know, took us a couple plays right here, but eventually snap it to Jay. He cuts it back, and we're in the end zone. We're on the board, it's seven to nothing. And Jay has kind of a nose for the end zone, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, does. he does. He does. <laughs> he knows where it's at. And then right here, you know, we were going to kick the ball on the ground most of the night, keep it away from one. Uh, and we about got that one. That wasn't an onside kick. That's just the area we're trying to kick it. When you kick that on turf like that, you know, it bounces everywhere. First play of their drive, we get a fumble. Opportunistic. We're right there on the ball. And now we got the ball in business. And there goes Jay again. Colin Crocker with a great block to kick out right there. Give Jay a little running room. And then Jay, very next play, you know, he presses it inside and he goes back out. And then you look out there on the perimeter, you got some receivers. Cole and DJ and Messiah doing a great job out there blocking. <clears throat> you know, getting closer and closer to the end zone. Right here, I really think Cam should have handed this ball off. Uh, he pulls it. He does at least get positive yards. We'll go with our wishbone play. We get uh, beat from the backside. The front side was unreal. But, you know, that happens sometimes. And then, again, once again, snap it to the running back, let him go score. Go up 14 to nothing, and the defense is just relentless. I mean, right there, you know, we get pressure, we about have a pick. Here they come again. Here's a screen. Stop him short. Don't let his momentum carry him forward. Now it's fourth down. And we get a sack right there. And now this is where I want to see us offensively, especially after that sack right there, go and do something with it because we got the ball on the plus side of the field. It's time to, to go and put the game away early. And it took us a couple drives. We went two empty possessions, but the defense just relentless. You can see all that pursuit to the football. That was Bradshaw with a great play. And right here, they got we got one guy out there, and Del Triaz comes and makes a play for a two-yard gain. And then there's Jay Nalston again, fourth down stop. Get the ball back on offense. Go back to running the football, two, three yards right there. Come right here, great anticipation by Cam to get that ball to Cole. He knew where he was going to be. He gets it out before Cole's out of his break. <clears throat> got to punt the football again. There's Messiah Wilson, you know, trying to get off, get off a hold right there so he can come down and get the ball down if we need to. Defensively, again, we got him backed up. <clears throat> Just doing a good job of pursuing the football, getting hats to the ball. We're getting pressure on the quarterback right there. He overthrows it. Again, we're getting more pressure on the quarterback right here. Overthrow. So affecting the throw. We're not sacking him, but we're affecting the throw. We make them punt. Back with a good return right here. I mean, he gets 10 yards. He's trying to wait for some of his blocks to come on down right there. Uh, we made them go to a different punt formation. That's not one they had shown all year. So once we almost got to that, uh, one, they changed and went to something tight that they hadn't shown at all this year. Jay Randall with a couple of great runs right there. It's the same play. He's just finding it in different spots. And then right here, Cole Shaw with an unreal block out here on the outside, just takes the corner and puts him on his back, and Levante's able to go in and score. You know, that makes it 21 Perfect night extra nothing. points too, Coach. That's always nice. Yeah, you know, that's, again, points are points. And anytime mm -hmm. you can go 100% on extra points, you know, like – the other night we kicked six of them. That's six points. That's huge. Um, you know, defensively right here, we get a bad snap. I'd love to see us get on this football and go ahead and make this play right here because you never want to give them an opportunity to do it again. And right here we kind of let them out from inside. We had a penalty right there. And then on third down, they get a conversion on us right here, a little double move. But then, you know, again, the defense, they just bow their neck. DJ Thurman with a great play to go outside and stack the receiver right there. And then right here, pressure, 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 it leads to a pick six. And you got guys running down the field, leading them in the end zone. That's Bradshaw with the last block right there. 
to go score that touchdown. And again, we're four for four in the first half, extra points. You give Jay that kind of open field coach, something good's going to happen. Yeah, there's, <laughs> he doesn't need much space. He'll come out in the third quarter. Again, put the ball on the ground right there. <clears throat> Got to do a better job on our kickoff team of making sure that we're avoiding to the proper side and going and tackling. But again, look, I mean, that's the epitome right there. All those hats to the ball, trying to knock the ball carrier backwards, not letting him fall forward. So we come out, this is right after halftime, we come out, it's three and out right there. I mean, we're getting hats to the ball. We're trying to, to punish the ball carrier. Punter was really trying to keep us, keep it punted to the sideline. Uh, I don't think they wanted us to return the ball because they had to go to that tight punt. And then we come out from inside the 10. You know, our goal would come, our goal every time we have the ball is to score a touchdown. But if we're coming out from inside the 10, we want to make at least two first downs so that we can flip the field position and punt it back past the 50. Um, and we're able to do that right here. Again, another great anticipation throw to Cole right there. And then Cole makes a little run after the catch. He does a great job protecting the ball right here. Guys coming from behind. So we've gotten it out of there. And then, you know, I, that was flagged as pass interference on them. I, I don't think it is, but, <laughs> you know, there was one earlier that was not called on them that should have been. And so sometimes the ball bounces that way. Again, Jay Randall with another great touchdown. We did a great job blocking up front our tight ends, Colin Crocker. Uh, Hunter Blanton, Blease Conklin, they did a great job the other night, you know, with their blocking because we asked them to do some new things. We always try to, we always try to run similar plays that's in our scheme and our identity, but out of different formations uh, to give the defense something else to look at, something else to, to uh, prepare for. I don't think these balls were supposed to be snapped to the back. That's just yeah. how it ended up happening. Uh, you know, we had subbed right here. We get the ball back. And, and you look right here, Masai Wilson, he downs this ball. He had just played quarterback on that series before, goes in on the punt team, downs the ball, and then Jay Nalston safety right there. So you talk about team guys like Masai, he plays, he plays receiver, quarterback. He's on special teams. You know, he's just, he's just a Thomasville kid. Just want to play. That's it. I mean, and, and that's what these guys want to do. They just want to play. You know, they, they love going out and playing. I mean, the reason we were successful this week, I believe, is how we practiced. Tuesday at practice, I thought, you know, we were super physical. We were so physical to the point where I was like, man, I might need to slow this down a little bit, but you'd rather have to tell them, whoa, than go. Right. Um, I mean, we were getting after it too now. And it showed. And then, you know, we got Caden Thomas in here. There's Leland. You know, Leland's been playing the whole game. He's getting some carries right here. A uh, little high snap. Caden does a good job corralling it. I'd rather just see him go down right there and uh, just take what you can get. There's Ant Anderson again. We come out here, we throw a little boot, we get a pass interference call right there. I think it happened at the top of the route. I'm really not sure. Uh, and then again, there we go. You know, we got some young guys in there. I see Mac Mobley, Brandon Myrick. Uh, you got Simon Harper. Let me see if I can see these other numbers in there. Brock Shiner. Uh, Blease is our backup center, so he's in there at center. He's played tight end the whole game, but he's got he's getting some work at center as well. Um, and then you know we just we punch it down here, get it inside the ten, and you know try to go score a touchdown. And, and Coach Rince looked at me and he said, "Hey, just go to the old faithful." So we snap it to a running back here in a minute, and and uh, Ant takes it in the end zone. You got guys, that's uh, Brandon Lopez and Elijah Hines on the play side right there. Those are two ninth graders, and, you know, we score behind them. And Callaway kicks extra point. Must have been a little slippery down there. Uh, <laughs> slipped got it and up fell, in there, but, but he got it in there. So that, wow. was, that was, it was a fun night. All right, 44 to nothing win for the Dawes. Coach, you mentioned Co Colin Cocker a while ago. One of, the, one of those guys that, uh, that – this year, it's just made itself available, made itself available, earned some playing time, is doing a good job. Yeah, Colin's, Colin's doing a great job, you know. And that's the thing, like our tight ends, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think we've thrown one ball to a tight end all year, and that was to Jeremiah Humbert. But what they, what they bring to the table is they give us that extra man, that extra blocker, and they've done a great job this year of being that extra guy on the end of the line of scrimmage or back there in the slot to get those backs, those extra yards, and. 
Uh, you know, they, they've got one of those jobs just like the offensive lineman that there's, there's very little glory in it. But at the end of the day, we all have a certain role and no role is more important than the other. And they really buy into that. Coaches, we watched the highlights going through. You mentioned on several different occasions, this is something we can do better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about this week is, you know, no opponent Friday night, but a week we need to get better. Yeah, you know, and that's yeah. the thing. Um, we, didn't, we don't want to be playing our best football until the last game of the season. So there's always something you can do to get better. And that's what I've said since the beginning of the year is you've got to find ways to get better. There's things that we can do better. And there's, you know, we ran for 200 and something yards. It, it could have been more. Um, and, and that's the mindset that you've got to have as a player and as a coach. You can't get complacent or satisfied with what you've done. You've always got to find ways to make it better. Continue to do the things you're doing well and get better at the things you need to get better at. And that's what good teams do. And that's what this week's about. You know, yesterday we did mainly a Sunday practice. We were in helmets only. Um, just some fundamental stuff. Today's going to be about fundamentals, and then we're going to get after it for the last 30 minutes or so, you know, with some physicality. But I've got to – this week, too, is about finding that, that guy or those guys that can build depth to go on a playoff run. We know what we have out of what you would call your top guys, your guys that have been doing it all year. Now it's time to find that depth so that when you get in the playoffs, you got a guy that you can also send in there if – one of your top guys needs a break or something like that. And that's what good teams do. That's what the teams in these past five years that I've been here, the teams that have had the most depth, those are the ones that have made the biggest runs. All right, Coach, we've, we've completed the non-region portion of the schedule. We've completed the region portion of the schedule. Now we enter the playoff portion of the schedule, and that'll be Saturday week out at the, out at the stadium. Um, true sudden death. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Yeah. There's no coming back if you don't play well. That's right. I love you the know? way our, our schedule's broken down. You know, you got five games, and that's really to figure out who your team is. You got an open date. And then you got five games to put yourself in a position going into what, what really is the real season. Because this is the, this is the season that, you know, gets your, your, your legacy out there. You know, everybody's vying for one goal, and that's to be state champions. So you've got to position yourself like we've done in these last five games to host playoff games because there's nothing like a home playoff game at the vet. Beck said that the last time we had kids in here. And so this uh, now it's really about going 1-0 each week. You know, we, we did that in our region play, but now it's so much more important that you do everything that you can to go 1-0. And, and, and for us, it's about doing our standards, about doing right and then dictating when we get on the field. All right, so Region 1 AAA now, finishing up a week earlier from, from most, most of the regions. So obviously we know our seeding, Thomas Hill number one, Carver number two, Darty number three, and then Chris Kenny will be number four. Don't know yet, Coach, who will be playing for sure. That's right. We won't know till, uh after Friday night, but, uh, you know, we're excited to just be at home. You know, that game's going to be – uh, next Saturday, the 12th, we don't have a time yet. We don't have an opponent. That will be set uh, once we know the opponent and we, we get an agreement with them. Uh, but, you know, it, really to me, you know, it doesn't matter what time. I'm glad we're there. I'm glad it's at home. Uh, our kids just want you to put the football down so we can go play. This will be the 13th playoff game for this senior class. That's, that's huge. It's, it is huge. And, you know, most of the playoff games they've played in have been at home. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's and nine, that's special. nine of the first twelve. There'll be ten now. Yeah, so this will be their tenth yeah. home playoff games. And when you think about that, ten, ten at home, that's a whole extra regular season that they've gotten just at home. So that's uh, that's special. And we've won eight of the first nine. So coach, that's a good, that's a pretty good legacy. Hopefully, we can continue. All right. So dogs open this week uh, as 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 they as they get a week a chance to get a little little well and a chance to get get better at some things to get prepared to. For that, for that playoff run. But, Coach, the Bulldog Show will not be open next week. We're going to have some players come in come in, and uh, get a chance to meet some of those guys, and we'll know who our opponent is, times, and all those kind of things. And Coach will get us, give us a little scouting report on the, on the team, team we'll, be, we'll be facing. But, uh, Bulldog fans, keep your eye on social media because as Coach Rayburn gets those things, he'll begin to put them out, and we'll know about tickets and those kind of things. Yes, sir. So that's coming up. All right, so – Again, again, uh, Dolls open this week, getting ready for the playoffs Saturday week out of the stadium, and Coach and I will be back with more on the Bulldog Show next week.